when I was sick and I went on Twitter and I typed in monkeypox gay, don't do it, you know, because because I got to see firsthand the opinions of people. My name is Martin Joseph and I'm here to talk about monkeypox. When I got monkeypox, I got this really raging fever and obviously with what's been going on in the world, I just assumed I had COVID. So I was already isolating. I was kind of hoping that it would have been something like that because at that point this voice was saying oh, it might be monkeypox. When you go online I was looking and it was just pictures of people covered in lesions and, and I was like I can't imagine how I'm feeling right now to going into that state. It didn't it didn't marry up to me. And then I woke up and I had like a little pimple on my hand, like a little lesion. And I was like, oh okay this is this is happening. So I ended up in quite a lot of pain to the point where I was on the phone to 111 at three in the morning saying, I, I'm in agony, I can't sleep, I can't stand, what do I do? They got me an appointment with um, a local emergency GP. Um, I went to that service and that's kind of where it felt like the wheels fell off. There was this real panic and this real, I could see people sort of running around not knowing what to do. And I was covered, I had gloves on, I had a mask on, I, I was, you know, I was, <laughs> it wasn't, no one was getting monkeypox from me. I got sort of ushered into a doctor's room, um, like a clinic room uh, by a doctor in like full PPE. Um, I went inside and they said, do you have your phone on you? I said, yes. And they closed me inside the door and then phoned me from the other side of the door. I ended up getting put in an ambulance because they didn't want to treat me there. And then got taken to A&E and then was left there for hours and hours and hours in an isolated room and sort of had to eventually beg to get seen. When they finally saw me, they found out I had an infection and I got antibiotics and, and that's what sort of started my journey to recovery. We've just heard of COVID. We had a vaccine. This one, 52 years. We've seen it in human cases. 52 years. And we have no vaccine. There was a moment right when monkeypox hit when we saw it everywhere and it said, monkeypox, the new COVID, it's coming. And then they went, oh, it's just affecting gay people. I don't worry about that. Don't panic, just the gays again. We're always getting into this sort of kerfuffle. You cannot demonize people for having sex. We've moved, we've moved so far forward. But when something like this comes up, there's this glitch. So we love gay people if they are the sassy best friend, or we love gay people if they are like, oh, I love Lady Gaga, I love glitter, I love Cher, we love drag race. The sex is the thing that people don't want to talk about it. I would love to not have to produce a podcast with all the information. I would love to not have people messaging me and say that they found the information out from my podcast. That's what I want.